Now, we're already quite familiar with vertical reflections, flipping the graphs vertically, like this, or like this. In these cases, we can note that any of the points in the relationship see a sign change in the y value, that is, the vertical variable. For example, this point here, 1, 1, becomes 1, that is, the same x value, but negative 1, the sign flipped for the y value. They are reflected around the x axis. If the y value is a positive, it becomes a negative. If it's a negative, then it flips to become a positive. And that's a vertical reflection. So let's switch over to horizontal reflections. And as you might predict, if a vertical reflection is a reflection around the x-axis, then a horizontal reflection would be a reflection around the right, the y-axis, like this, or like this. And also, as you might expect, if a vertical reflection causes the sign to change in the y-values, then a horizontal reflection would cause a sign change in the right the x values. For example, this point here, 1, 1 becomes, well, the y stays the same, so a 1 here, and then the sign is switched for the x value. That is, plus 1 becomes negative 1, and they are reflected around the y axis. If an x value is a positive, it becomes a negative. And again, if negative, it becomes a positive. And that's a horizontal reflection. So the next question coming to mind is, how do we recognize these reflections in equations? Well, we're already familiar with vertical reflections being recognized by a negative with the y. And again, having the negative with the y is a nice reminder that this negative is associated with the vertical reflection, or impacting the y value. Given that, we commonly isolate the y on the left, which means no negative over there. Therefore, we divide both sides by negative 1 to remove it from the left, and the negative effectively gets moved to the right side, like this. And these are all showing a vertical reflection. So where do you think the negative ends up for a horizontal reflection? Well, if the negative can be seen as being in front of the y variable for the vertical reflections, then the negative would be right in front of the x variable or in with the x value, like this. Any of these show a horizontal reflection. 